Salu PF yesterday vowed that exiled former party commissar Sevia Kasukwere will not be part of this year's presidential race unless he has been cleared by the police and judiciary. Kasukwere, also known as Tyson in Zanu PF circles, has been in exile in South Africa since the 2017 coup that removed the late former President Robert Mugabe. Police spokesperson Assistant Commissioner Paul Nyati recently said Kasukwere had two pending warrants of arrest for absconding court and failing to surrender his passport to the clerk of court. Justice Ministry Secretary Virginia Mabiza last week told state media that Kasukwere would face justice once he set foot in Zimbabwe. But Kasukwere's chief election agent lawyer Jacqueline Sande has dismissed the allegations saying a client had no pending cases. The former cabinet minister is set to contest the August 23 elections as an independent presidential candidate. He will cross swords with 10 other candidates, among them the incumbent president Emerson Mnangagwa of ZANU PF and Nelson Chamisa of the Triple C. Yesterday, ZANU PF spokesperson Christopher Mchangwa told journalists in Harare that Kasukwere was aware of his pending cases, hence delays in coming to Zimbabwe to launch his presidential campaign. We are in the midst of our campaign and Kasukwere is a non-existent candidate. I repeat, he is a non-existent candidate. There are many things he knows he has done and is a third. And the Zimbabwe Intelligence Services have many things to question him about, Mchangwa said. There is no voting booth at the SABIC. He appeared on the SABC to impress his funders. You see your image in the mirror of SABC, but you are not present in the country where our president Emerson Mnangagwa is stamping in the ground in Zimbabwe. Addressing the media in South Africa last week, exiled former cabinet minister Otam Zembi said Kasukwere was I'm unmoved by the threats. No amount of intimidation and weaponization of the law will intimidate Kasukwere. He is going to be in Harare, Mzembi, with the chairperson of Kasukwere campaign team said. Reports indicate that there is panic in ZANU-PF over Kasukwere's return over fears that he may eat into the ruling party's force in the polls. So they say Kasukwere has been making inroads into ZANU-PF strongholds targeting disgruntled members at a time when the ruling party is divided following chaotic primary elections held in March this year. Godfrey Zeningamu, a former ZANU-PF youth boss, told journalists on Tuesday that they had mobilized disgruntled ZANU-PF members to rally behind Kasukwere's candidature. He cited former ZANU-PF Mutare North MP Basirai Pemenai, whom he said was recruited to mobilize support in Manikaland. Pemenai lost in the ZANU-PF Mutare North primary elections to admire Mahachi. Comrade Basirai Pemenai he has started mobilizing some disgruntled party members in the ruling party to join independent candidate saviour Kasukwere.